Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Acrobat makes it easy to convert Microsoft Office files into PDF files from within the Microsoft Office applications. As was shown in an earlier lesson, you don't need to open Acrobat at all to make use of the PDF conversion feature thanks to the printer driver that is installed during Acrobat's installation. In addition, depending on the Adobe Acrobat 11 Pro installation configuration used, Adobe Acrobat 11 Pro may install the Acrobat PDF Maker Office Com add-in into the applications within an existing Microsoft Office installation on the same computer. Note that this add-in is only compatible with Windows versions of Microsoft Office 2003 or later. This supplemental program to the Microsoft Office Suite will provide you with an additional Acrobat or Adobe PDF tab in the ribbon, as well as a custom Save as Adobe PDF command at the left side of the backstage view that appears when you select the File tab in the ribbon within Excel, Outlook, PowerPoint, and Word in Microsoft Office 2013 and 2010. The tools that appear within these custom tabs in the ribbon provide you with additional tools for creating PDF files within each program. Note that you can still use the Adobe PDF printer to create PDF files in all of the Microsoft Office applications, even if there is no custom add-in specifically available for that application, such as would be the case with Microsoft Access. Now, if you click the Acrobat tab shown in the ribbon within Excel, PowerPoint and Word in Microsoft Office 2013 and 2010, you will see several buttons within different button groups that you can use to more precisely control the appearance and functionality of the resultant PDF file that is created by each application. This gives you more control than using the PDF printer choice when creating a PDF using these Microsoft Office 2013 or 2010 products. The next few lessons within this chapter will discuss using these buttons to create PDFs within these applications. Note that you will instead see an Adobe PDF tab appear within Microsoft Outlook 2013 and 2010. You can use the buttons on this tab to create PDFs from email messages and automate the process used to create PDFs in Outlook. PDF creation in Outlook will also be discussed in a separate lesson as it differs from Excel, PowerPoint, and Word, which share many of the same features when creating PDF documents. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp.com forward slash free.